Hey guys, Louis to Luigi here, coming up with a new gameplay on Super Mario Galaxy. And yes, I know, this game came out quite a while ago. No surprise there. But, you know, this game is really, really good. Um, they made a second one. And I hope a third one never comes, but uh, I don't see that because they made 3D World for 3DS and for the Wii U. So, I guess 1 and 2 on Mario Galaxy will have to do for now. So, this game is a really good game. I recommend if you still own a Wii or a Wii U that can play Wii games, buy this game. This game mm, costs, when I bought it, I bought it new, it cost me like $55 with tax. But with, from what I recently checked, it was costing about $7 at my local uh, video game store. Not a GameStop or a, game, a plane trade, a video game store. We still have those here. <laughs> Just like I like it. They go right to the game. We are going to start a new one. And I can see my brother already... So I guess we're going to have to do file 2, and we are going to choose me. Alright. Alright, so nothing important yet. Okay, so we're going to go play this file, and off we go to do whatever we're supposed to do. No spoilers. Okay. Every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large one year, it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down. I like the little pictures, they look... And the song goes with it too. The toads brought the shooting stars to the castle, where they became a great power star. So that explains a lot. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. I think I know what it is. If you're 18 and older, you know what it is. But if you're like me, we know what it is. It's a cake. And you thought it was something else. You dirty minded people. It was a cake. I don't see Mario ever getting any of that. Alright, so you're gonna collect these little things called star bits. Uh, the usual controls are the same A is to jump, B is to shoot them. But you're gonna need these eventually to unlock other levels. So let's talk. The Star Festival is starting. Yahoo! Alright, so I guess we're just. Hey Mario, see this purple thingy I have? Grab as many as them as you can. They're called Star Bits. To the Mushroom Kingdom. To pick up star bits, point your Wii remote and move move them around with the little thing. You mean this? You're collecting star bits. Of course I am. I think they're useless, but if they happen once every hundred years, they gotta be worth something. These things look like candy, but they're actually star bits. They're so sparkly. Well, I can see. Everyone's grabbing all the star bits they can. How the hell do they... How do they all just fit in there? Thank <laughs> you. 
Evening to you. Alright. I guess we're just gonna... Oh, wait. Cutscene. Oh my god! Why is it every time Mario's there? In the Mushroom Kingdom, Peach gets captured. No matter where, near or far, you'll always, you'll always get captured. And then the toads are just useless. They don't even protect her. Princess Peach, you are formally invited to the creations of my new galaxy. See how they're both scared? They're not doing anything? The festival is over. Alright, so I'm not even going to talk to any of the toads. It is not my duty. You can't break them. Alright, let's go guys. Let's go. Come on, I need an army. Where I need an army. But they won't they won't even do it. They won't even do it. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, I missed it. So somehow Bowser made contact with with some really high tech scientists to make I don't know what that is. They're in space. Well, from what the looks of it, it is in space, but I'm thinking they haven't left the atmosphere because they're still breathing. So long, enjoy your flight. It's a Luma. That turns into a bunny. Finally, you're awake. Let's play. What? Why would you want to come on press A to jump? Come on, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Oh my god, I'm really gonna get. Can we not play? 
Let's play hide and seek. Oh my god, if you catch all of us, we'll tell you about where you are. What if I don't... Oh my god. Okay, from what I remember, one was hiding right here. Oh, shoot him. There you go, there you go. Oh, come on. I found you. The whole point of hide and seek. You caught me. Alright, we're back. I had a little malfunction. But I took care of that with my camera. Oh, I knew I should have hidden in the crater. So, once you find them, they give you hints. And the crater is right somewhere over here. Um, God damn it! All right, so the crater is right here. And as we see, it's right there. There you go. You caught me. Oh, if only I've hidden in the pipe. Yeah, there is also a pipe here. Apparently, water systems work here. Stop running, 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 come on, I don't want to reload, okay, there you go, oh, I'm gonna have, to I can't believe I let myself get caught. Wow, you caught all of us. Maybe you really can help Mama. <sighs> Apparently stars have mothers. Alright, so... I don't wanna... Alright. Come on. Oh my god. I've been watching you from here. This place is called the gateway to the st starry sky or the starry sky. My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. To save your special one, which he means spe peach, you'll need to power and travel through space. Luma can give you this power. I will entrust you with his care. So now, apparently, Mario becomes some type of Superman. You have the ability to spin. Now, shake the Wii Remote. Disaster has struck us. Justin has visited you. With Luma, I hope you can rescue the grand stars. May the stars shine down on you. Take the Wii Remote to spin into things that look breakable, basically. You can even spin enemies to stun them. Hmm. There you go. Alright, so we're off to our first world already. Hi there, good to see you. I have some bad news. Though, See, I had a launch star all ready for you, but a meteor smashed it up. 
you can't leave without it, so find all the star chips to fix it. Oh, and be sure not to fall into the black hole. What? Alright. I haven't played this game in over, uh, three years, so I will be a little rusty. Oh look, I like mushroom. But no matter the thing about this game is however lives you can collect, you can collect like a hundred lives and that wouldn't matter in the game. Cause once you turn off and everything saved up, it doesn't save your lives. You go back to five lives. Which really it just annoys you at times. Alright. Get me out of here. One of those enemies should have the key. You can shake to spin them around and make them dizzy. Once they're stunned, just run into them. I can pretty much tell it's the Goomba who has it. Apparently just grabbing the key saved them. Thanks, would you mind rescuing my buddy in that base up there too? I'll transform into a sling star just to... Just so I can go help them. It's four. And star out. And then they turn into little large stars. That's some huge vibration. Oh my god. I'm basically saving everyone right now. Man, I haven't played this in quite a while. And I'm not that bad. Ooh, I could have landed on him. Hurry! Down here! We've been waiting for you. Whoa, that's weird. That's a Grand Star. We have to save it. They're using the Grand Star to power the awful machine. It looks like it's making something. We have to do something before the Grand Star power is drained. Quick, find a way to stop that terrible machine. Alright, so we're off to save the day again. Turn off the blizzards on the floor. Just turn them all into the same color and they'll get back to normal. And there's another one randomly right here. Another one right here, another one right here, and another one right here. If you're gonna protect something like this, you pretty much have to put a lot of man to work on it, but apparently that doesn't work here. Magically open a room? Of course we don't. I discover a new galaxy, guys. I will name it after me. The beacon is lit again. It shines weakly, maybe only as bright as a class 6 star. But at least the poor Lumas will survive now. Oh, thank you for saving the Grand Star. These star people are my family. They mean so much to me. Welcome to the Comet Observatory. It's my home, and also home to the Lumas. You see, we travel the, sta the, sta the starry sty 
the starry sky. Sorry, guys. We passed by this area once every 100 years, but we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. A strange force had latched onto our ship, pulling away star bits and our power source. Power stars, pretty much. Our ship had lost power, so it entered into a deep hibernation state in which it could not move. Those who took your special one picked up the power stars and discovered the power to cross the universe. Whoa! Please, I have a request. A friend request, I hope. This observatory uses star power to protect images of the galaxies that are scattered across space. And there is such a chance we can use our few remaining stars to look for other power stars. These round rooms are, are called domes. We observe galaxies from domes such as these. But the only one that is working now powered by the star power you restored is this one, the terrace. Please go to the terrace and try to recover the power stars from the galaxies you can see from there. If we do that, we'll be able to restore the Comet Observatory ability to fly like a starship. Then perhaps we can pursue the thieves who ran off with the power stars. But nothing about Peach! Yes, we shall save my game. Alright guys, I guess we're gonna call it a wrap here. This is Lewis to Luigi saying what's up? And well pretty much see you guys. And thanks for watching. Rate, like, and subscribe. Uh, I wanna give a special shout out to that one person in my life that pretty much makes me never give up making these videos. And that's my girlfriend. I love you. And I love all my fans too and my viewers. So anyways guys. If you got any more suggestions on how to make my channel better, but I don't consider it my channel. I consider it our channel because I want this channel to be what you want. So if you want to suggest anything or opinions, please comment on any of my videos or send me a personal message. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. This is Louis to Luigi logging off.